essentially what we've been seeing over the course of uh, the first four months of school this year is uh, a steady increase in uh, student absences. Respiratory illness and influenza are hitting Manitoba kids hard. One Winnipeg school division has now reintroduced a mask recommendation to keep kids healthy in the classroom. On Tuesday, Louis Riel school division trustees voted to strongly recommend the wearing of masks in all divisional facilities, including buses, as opposed to masking based on personal preference. Superintendent Christian Michalek saying the division wants to keep kids in the classroom as absenteeism can put a student's education at risk. What's at stake, a stake is relationship, is community, is belonging, and all those are necessary ingredients to success. With the holiday break starting shortly, he says it's the perfect time to get students vaccinated against the flu. What I wish for for my for the holiday season is uh, more families getting vaccinated, and and as a result, uh, a month of January, February, and beyond that looks different from uh, what we've been experiencing, experiencing this fall and early winter. Medical experts stress vaccination is critical to protecting younger children against serious illness, saying while an ebb and flow of illness has been expected during the winter months post-pandemic, they're seeing sicker kids than normal. What is surprising uh, is the acuity of the children, and by acuity meaning how sick they are, um, including febrile seizures, including high fevers, including dehydration. Due to the amount of illness circulating in the community, the Winnipeg Regional Health Authority has logged an increase of fever-induced seizures. Data from the province indicates there have been 322 visits related to cerebral seizures at HSC Children's Hospital Emergency Department this year, compared to 117 in 2021. If you're worried about your child, we're worried with you, to be honest. We don't want you to hesitate to come to the emergency department if you think that your child is seriously unwell and you're worried that they that it's an emergency. Dr. Karen Grip, medical director of the Children's Hospital Emergency Department, says the increase in cerebral seizures is likely due to the fact there are a higher number of viral infections being recorded. Obviously, you know your child the best, um, but also uh, evaluate them in context of, of when to be really worried and when to perhaps be reassured and try comfort measures at home. Dr. Grip stresses if a child is having a cerebral seizure that lasts more than five minutes or repeats, has issues breathing, or is changing color, 911 should be called. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.